The massive earthquake of April 25 killed about 9,000 people and affected more than half a million people. Ten months after the massive April 25 earthquake, communities in the Himalayas are slowly moving towards the early recovery process. खानापारा कस्तो बिजोग पनि भयो बच्चाहरु अब हाम्रो त बच्चा धेरै अनि यो खान नपाउन थाले रोइ गरे के झारपा थार नहुने रुफुटा घासार नहुने घरमा भको जति पुरी आलो के के झिग्न पाइएन भाडा कुडा पुरेर पकार खानी भाडा नभर कस्तो यात्रा पनि भयो कति सय गरेर हामी बस्न पासमा बास बस्न पाका छौ सजिलो भइरहेछ सबै कुरामा सय छ हामीलाई नत्र हामी के हार बाँध्न ढुङ माटो हार हुँदैन हैन र in Sindhu Pajak district, above 3,000 people lost their lives and thousands were left homeless. The resilience of these communities was made stronger through the immediate response of the national and the international communities that came right after the earthquake. Tell us what are your needs now. The Nepal Earthquake Recovery Project funded by the European Commission's Humanitarian Aid and Civil Protection Department has been launched in four different highly affected districts that are Sindhupazok, Raswa, Thading and Makwanpur. The project supported the communities with winterization, transitional shelter construction, water, sanitation and hygiene as well as the water scheme construction and repair. The project is also supporting the community by providing them with skill-oriented missionary and carpentry training as well as hygiene and sanitation training. Raswa that lies in the high Himalayan region of Nepal is one of the remotest parts of the country and is highly affected due to the earthquake. Taking its geographical nature into account, the project supported the community right at the beginning of the winter season as the Himalayas are bitterly cold during winter. The Nepal Earthquake Recovery Project implemented by four of ACT Alliance consortium members has been supporting more than 20,500 people in the four highly affected districts. Thanks to this project, the communities in the most affected areas in Nepal are now getting back to their feet.